We are back. Welcome, guys, to the Mullerwell FIFA 21 career mode episode. I believe it's 13. I hope it's not going to be unlucky for us because we've been shite the last couple of episodes. So we need a good one. We need to get a couple of straight wins, a couple of straight uh, dominating displays. So hopefully we can get that today. We're fifth in the league. Should be a lot higher, in my opinion. Should be at least third. Realistically, I think we could even chase Celtic, but as of late... Some of the results have just been shocking. Uh, last time out we lost at home. 3-0 to St Mirren. I mean, come on. Can't be doing that shit. I mean, look at St Mirren. Where are St Mirren? Right down the bottom. They're 11th place. So St Mirren are crap and they beat us. So that, that just tells you what we are. But we've got Livingston up first today. I'm hoping that we can take advantage of that and just beat them because they're they're, they're, they're alright. Like, But I think we should be able to beat them. I'm looking at Aberdeen. They're playing Hamilton. I'm looking at Celtic. They're playing Dundee United. I don't really see any of those teams dropping. Rangers are playing bottom of the table. Ross County, they ain't going to drop points. So it's crucial that we keep winning. St. Johnston play Hibs. And I guess there's potential there. Hibs could beat St. Johnston, even though Hibs are having a pretty poor season in 10th place. But uh, we need all the help we can get. So if anyone wants to beat the teams ahead of us, then we will take that and we'll send you a wee Christmas card in December. Big Stevie O'Donnell. It's Big Stevie. Oh, he's already scored one screamer this season. Can he get another one? No, because he plays it to Seedorf. Seedorf looking for... Oh, Cole and decided... Maybe Cole was half side there. Either that or he's just fucking useless and didn't he bother sticking a leg out. Oh, what a ball through to Cole. A good touch here will bring him in. It's Cole. The fan to Cole. Oh, no. Right at the keeper. What's he doing? It's gone. Chances over. Still nil-nil. Ball it to Seedorf. Right, this is the chance. Come on. Seedorf cuts inside, great bit of play, Seedorf still, Seedorf opens up the space, he shoots, oh what a goal! Seedorf is individually just fucking destroyed the Livingston defence there, gave the goalkeeper no chance as well. What a goal for Seedorf, and he's, he's damn right to celebrate, no wonder the players are clinging to him. Like fucking kids run the uh, top shop fan man, they, 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 want, they can't get enough uh, Seedorf and with a goal like that, can you blame them? No. Look at that, boom, nice wee step over. And then, oh, my, even Defante Cole knows it. That's a, that's a banger of a goal, and he has to duck it the way. Has to get underneath it. Look at that, boom. Keeper doesn't even see it coming. By the time he does, it's it's too, it's too late, man. It's too late. It's in the back of the net, 1 0. Shit ball played it to Mullen. Carroll needs to come over. Can he get a challenge in? No, he can't. He just lets Mullen get away from him. Lush talk. He's went down, and hopefully not a penalty. The referee looks like he's given a free kick. Better be a free kick. It was a dying bastard anyway. We only gave him anything, but yeah, he's, he's gave it outside the box. Let's see if we can take care of this Stengel then with the delivery. Campbell's there, he heads it away, and the chance is gone. Livingston offering absolutely nothing up front. And Cole or Seedorf, even let's see what he can offer. He's already offered a goal today. And he's got a burst of pace, and he's going to try and get away from his man here. Oh, he's cut back, and he's uh, lost the ball. Cool. Oh, it's cool. Still cool. To find the cool. Oh, it's good save for McCrory. Dives and holds onto the ball. Well, that's that's fucking dodgy as hell there. Tried to win the ball. I think Declan Gallagher's missed time that challenge. And I don't know. Is it apparently? It might just be outside there, but. Jesus Christ, he almost killed the poor guy. It's right on the uh, the line. I'm surprised that. That could have easily been given. Can the Livingston take advantage? It's Lawson steps over the ball. Hits it. It's at Campbell off the line. Great clearance. Got to fall for Mullen. This time Cole wins it. Gallagher's there and he wins it. The guy that gave away the uh, free kick is there to save the day. And now we're on the counter. Gallagher plays it to Campbell. Still Campbell. Alan Campbell. Still Alan Campbell. Still Alan Campbell. Alan Campbell strikes it. Ah, maybe, De maybe Declan Gallagher should have kept the ball. I shouldn't have gave it away. Alan just couldn't deck that shot on target. We're going to bring on Dunn. We'll, we'll take Gallagher off. He's having a bit of a dodgy game here. He's to oh, step over. Shot blocked into the hands of McCrory again. Okay, what a ball. It's just failed to put a uh, goal there. Oh, brilliant ball it to Seedorf. It's whipped in. Oh, what a goal. That would have been hasty. There with the strike. He head, tries to head it on. Cole's there and it's cleared away again by McCrory. It's another goal for 
No, no, no. Oh, great save. But Carlson's had he haw to do all game, but finally he gets called into action 83rd minute and he makes a save. And that should be enough to give us the win. We're on the counter. Can we put the game beyond doubt? Here's Jake Hasty. Hasty finds Polworth. Polworth to Donnelly. Donnelly back to Polworth. To Donnelly. Shot blocked again. And McGrory, McCrory again picked up the ball. Fuck, he'll be making love to that boss soon enough. He's had his hands all over it this game. And that is it. We're finally... <laughs> We finally go over the line here. We, we had countless chances, we just couldn't take them. And uh, yeah, we, I guess we gave Livingston one opportunity towards the end. Thankfully for us, Carson made a decent save. But overall, it was a game to forget. We pummeled. Well, we, I wouldn't say we pummeled them, but every time we had a shot, it, it was just comfortably saved by the Livingston goalkeeper. Partly due to us just not really having our shooting boots on the day. Our goal was good. Everything else apart from that was pretty poor. And I believe I just seen that Celtic drew there, so we've we've took two points after them. I believe. I think Aberdeen might have drew as well. We'll need. We'll go ahead and look at the league table here. Wasn't even, was too busy talking shit to realise what the scores were. But yeah, Aberdeen that in fact did draw, and so did Celtic. So Aberdeen dropped into fourth place now. St Johnston cut the gap to Celtic down to six points. Rangers obviously are running away with this. It looks like they are going to stop ten in a row and claim title fifty-five. But more importantly, can we? <laughs> what can we do? Can we catch Celtic? The gap down to ten points now. And you never know, we're playing well. I don't see why we can't. I mean, if we'd, have drawn more, if we'd have drawn more games, we'd be a lot higher in the table. Unfortunately, though, we've got nine defeats. And those nine defeats could come back to haunt us big time. But we've scored the most goals in the league. We've even scored more goals than league leaders, Rangers. So we're scoring for fun, but we're also conceding for fun. We've conceded the most amount of goals in the league. So that's an issue. We need to stop that. But hey, last time out, we kept a clean sheet. So maybe we can get more of the same here when we take on Hibs. Alright, so here's the team that's taking on Hebs. We've got Dunn coming in for Gallagher due to fitness reasons. Tony Watts coming back in up front. And we've also got O'Hara replacing Polworth. So it's still a pretty strong team. Uh, maybe even stronger when you factor in. We've got Tony Watt up front. And then Hibernian, they're just going with 4-4-2. Marciano, Stevens and Hanlon. Ashraf, Gray, Boyle, Malin, Newell, Fun, Dugiga, whoever the fuck that guy is. Halberg and Deutsch. So, interesting lineup there for Hebs. Oh no, <laughs> Bernard didn't take the lead already, nine minutes in, I think it's Halberg with the goal, maybe that's what happens when you don't have your star defender, Declan Gallagher on the team, you get fucking ripped off, it's not even Halberg, it's Newell, Newell scores, we went for keeping a clean sheet to concede in nine minutes, absolute dog shite at the back, and we need to do better, oh, he just got done in again there, but Dodge with one of the worst finishes you'll ever see. I, mean, I don't know why, but Hibs are fucking smoking us at the moment like a big massive blunt. It's no t Hibs we're taking on, it's fucking Snoop Dogg, man, we're getting smoked. Hasty to Tony Watt. Great bit of play, but oh, we can't spend Tony Watt. Seedorf. Get in, right, we're back on level terms. We've been shit. We've been absolute shit. We've been worse than that chewing gum on the ground that you step on and you have to scrape it off your shoe. That's what we've been scraped fucking chewing gum so far in this game, but we're back on level terms. So let's see if we can t make the most of it now and try and push on and actually start playing well and pick up another three points and keep the pressure on the teams above us. Ball at to Seedorf. He gets across. And, oh, and Campbell was there. He got a touch on it, but it was a shite touch. The touch certainly wasn't good enough. And he is put it wide. Although some guy definitely risked his head there. Fucking just throwing his big dome in the way. I think it was Hanlon. Fair play to him. Warrior at the back. Risking his health. Risking his heed. Risking his life to try and stop the goal there for Alan Campbell. Looks promising, mate. Oh no. Carroll's brought him down. and He's already on a yellow. This could be this could be a sending off. Plus a penalty. Or the referee. Is the referee going to feel sorry for him? I think he's done. He's fucking done in here. I mean, yeah, he's, he's tackled the guy who didn't even have the ball. I mean, there's just no... Com there's no... You can't complain about that. And it's going to be Hibbs. It's going to be Boyle. We have a chance to put Hibbs 2-1 ahead. And he does it. Hibbs retake the lead here. After a shocking decision for Dunn to pole axe a guy in the box that didn't even have the ball. So, what the fuck was that all about? But, eh. Hey. So, at least they've still got 60 minutes, 50 minutes to get a goal back. Or two goals back, but... Awful, awful defending there if they done. We need Gallagher back, man. That's who we need. Big Declan. 
Campbell. It's what? Tony Watt. Is Aaron Campbell? Surely, yes. Oh, what a goal. Does it get any better? I don't think so. Tony Watt. Alan Campbell linking up like fucking sausages linked together. Look at that. Boom. A chain of sausages. You ain't going to break that. You're just not going to break that. Tony Watt with a lovely through lofted ball over the top. Alan Campbell chests it down first time. Gets his back on level terms. Just when you thought the ball was going wide, it swerves back in. Into the net it goes. And it's 2 2. And we are. Well, I mean, we've not played well, but we've scored two pretty good goals, so you know what, we'll take it. So you go half-time then, Hibs are probably just a bit edged that we haven't been good, if we're being perfectly honest, but still got 45 to try and change that and try and come out with a win. But, out to Seedorf, Seedorf, a nice wee touch. Finds Campbell running in, Campbell. Ah, oh, Campbell's pass. We didn't call that a pass, that's embarrassing. Gets it back though. Tony Watt, we step overs. And his pass is also shit. Why can't we pass a ball now? So Tony Watt then finds it. Seedorf out in his left hand side. Seedorf's cut in. It's going to be Seedorf to try and put his free. Oh no, it's he done, Seedorf? Oh, I, I, well, I mean, it almost worked, but it didn't. I mean, I don't why he closed the angle down like that. I actually wanted to shoot and he decided he couldn't. I don't get it. Couldn't he pull the trigger when it mattered the most? Oh, and done this just completely took him, didn't he? He's already been booked. He's already given away a penalty, and the referee's gonna gonna let him away with that one. I don't know how many fouls Dunn needs to commit today to get sent off, but here, I'll only complain. Can the goalkeeper make a save though? Off the post, rebound. Off the oh, Carson with the save. Jesus Christ, we're, we're still alive somehow. Somehow we're still in this at two-two. Hibbs then take the corner. It's gonna be nil. To whip this one in, it's headed towards goal again, and it's just over the bar by Jamie Murphy. Hibbs completely slaughtering us at the moment, but we're still home. Still, still, we're somehow still uh, holding on. Oh, fuck off, we'll get the ball away again. What are we doing? Can he catch a breath? Can he speak a word of English, man? What's happening here? What is happening here? Oh, we've been done in there. No, 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 we've been done in. We've been, oh, great block. Oh, he's trying to get away, Campbell. Has to get on that. No, it's through, it's through. It's, oh, it's another great save for Carson. I think it's, this time it's uh, Halberg with the, the miss. And I, I can't believe this. It's all Hibs here. It is all Hibs. We're under pressure. It's in towards... Oh, he just off the post again. Jesus Christ. And we somehow managed to get it away through Carroll. Carroll then to O'Hara, O'Hara. To Tony Watt, Tony Watt then try to run at the defence here and it's absolutely nothing comes for that. We cannot seem to break this constant Hibs attack. Can we finally now get the ball, just slow the play down a bit. Or maybe we can counter. Maybe we can counter if Tony Watt makes a run here. Here we go then, making some substitutions. We need to pull with Long and McGinley coming off. We're going to get done off. He's on a yellow. He's, he's basically asking for a, a second one at this stage, so we'll take him off. It's another good save for Carson though, I mean the hips are just keep being denied by Trevor Carson and Nets. Unbelievable stuff. Ball whipped in, it should be taken care of and it still can't get rid of it for some reason. Hibs just applying all the pressure. And it's going to be another corner. We close them down and it's just, that's all we can do really, just keep closing them down. It's ball towards goal again, this time it's over the bar and that should get us a wee bit of leeway so it's hard to imagine. I don't know how Hibs are doing in 10th place when they're playing like this. I really don't. They're on fire here at the moment. And let's see if we can try and put them out though. It's Seedorf. What an undeserved uh, goal this would be. But it's back post. It's Haste. And Hasty runs away for it. Fucking Jake Hasty. Surely could have had that. It's going to be Campbell. Heads it down. Oh, great wee flick there. Back to Hasty who will keep this in. Surely this time he will. And he. He, he can't even win the corner. Hasty's having an absolute shocker of the day. Long. Long. To O'Hara. Again, we find Seedorf. He's always making those good wee runs. It's going to be Seedorf. Cuts back. Oh, and the awful. Our final product of the day has been shit. And that will probably sum up this game. It's going to be a draw, I think. Hibs might have one last chance. Halberg. It's Nisbet, it's Nisbet, it's Nisbet, he's chipped the car and Carson makes a save even when it's glitched in this game and you can't stop the chips. 
Fucking Carson puts some salt and vinegar on them and he eats the chips and we've got a draw. I don't mean to sound so happy about a draw, but I mean, it's not often in PES you get fucking annihilated. I mean, it's not often in FIFA you get annihilated and you actually get something out of the game and we've got a point here when in reality, I don't think we deserved one. Trevor Carson was phenomenal today. I mean, look at that, Hibernian 16 shots to our five and still we got the win. Player ratings, I don't know who got man of the match. I think it was Alan Campbell. I mean, to me, it has to be Trevor Carson. Trevor Carson got a 7.7. I would have gave it to... Yeah, I would have gave it to Trevor Carson. Like, But here, you know what? It is what it is. Alan Campbell gets it. But for me, Trevor Carson really is the man of the match in that game. And he's, he's got us a point. And I wanted three points going into the game. And there's a chance to catch Aberdeen gone. But you know what? I think we've got to accept that we were second best throughout that game. This first half, it was probably like 60-40 hibs. Second half, it was like 90-10 hibs. So for us to get anything out of that game, I think, was uh, no too bad there. We've got a 1.5 transfer bid in for Chris Long. And I think we're going to accept this. He's valued at 1.3. So it's 200k more than his value. Plus, he's just not really getting the game time. He doesn't want to be here. He wants to leave. I can't really start him over what or Defante Cole. So you know what? I think he's going to go. I think... Chris Long is going to go. As long as he wants to leave and go to that team, then Chris Long's going to be leaving the club. We're going to be getting some money. So that draw then leaves us remaining fifth in the league table. Celtic drew again, so at home to, against Hamilton, Jesus Christ. So what a chance we actually had to close the gap down to eight points. Unfortunately, we couldn't take it. And then we remain the 10 behind. St. Johnson beat St. Mirren, so they closed the gap. And then since then, there's been a couple more games. Aberdeen have drew against Ross County. St. John's have drew against Dundee United, so a chance then for Celtic to open up the lead again. But they play Rangers at Ibrox, and you've got to feel that Rangers could win that. So, going into the next game against St. Mirren, we win it. We go a point behind Aberdeen. We go four points behind St. Johnson. And then we go, depending on what Celtic do against Rangers, we go either 10, 9, or 7 points behind them. So, this is very, very close. And every point matters now as we get towards the end of the season. This could go either way. It's, it's turning in. I, I don't know if Celtic are in this battle, but you could argue that there's four teams going for second place. If not, there's certainly three teams going for third place. And who is going to get them? Well, hopefully if Trevor Carson keeps up pulling off displays like he did against Hibs, then we'll be hard to beat. But anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below. And until next time, peace.